and we're back hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know i haven't posted a video in weeks and to be precise in two weeks but life has been a bit hectic and well now i'm back yay as you can see i'm in a different setting this is my childhood bedroom i'm back in brazil to do the credits for my phd so i have a few classes to take uh, up until the end of the year and then i'll be back in london hopefully with a better camera better sound and better everything but for now i'll be talking to you from here today i'm going to talk to you about my love hate relationship with goodreads goodreads for those of you who don't know is basically social media for book lovers when i first learned of goodreads i loved it i just i wanted to catalog all the books i read in my life and rate them with those five stars from one to five and yeah that's it i'd be really really excited to do that nowadays and i'd say since last year or so it's been bothering me a little bit so the more i think about it the harder it gets to actually classify books in a five star system rating books are about their after effects sometimes you read a book and you don't think much of it and then you catch yourself thinking of that book for years to come and that has happened to me or other times love of first sight you're just like yes this book is wonderful and it just doesn't stand the test of time you, you just go on to forget about it it's very it, it's a forgettable book even though you really loved it when you read it so yes i think it's nearly impossible to classify books in many type of rating i think you can talk about them and that's what we're doing here on booktube i think it's so difficult to rate books from 1 to 5. It's so difficult to rate books from 1 to 10. It's difficult to rate books from 1 to 100. It's just difficult to rate books, full stop. Books are such a all-encompassing, dynamic experience and it keeps changing. As you change, your experience or your memory of certain books change with you. So earlier this year, still a bit frustrated with Goodreads as it was, I decided I was going to log all the books I read, I would take part on the challenge because I do like keeping track of what I read, but I wouldn't read them anymore. I just put them there as read, not read, want to read. That's it. I use Goodreads now purely to know how many books I read in a year. Purely as a system of cataloging books read, books not read, books I want to read. And it works for me. I know lots of people love it. And yes, when I want to read a book, I go to Goodreads, check its rating. Isn't that stupid and hypocritical? Yes, it is. I know. But still, I don't feel comfortable rating books myself, even though I rely on other people's ratings to know how good a book is. However, a low rating has never stopped me from reading a book I am really intrigued by. So if someone recommends a book to me and then I go to Goodreads and see it has like, I don't know, a 2.5 rating? I'm just gonna go for it anyway because well I might like it and that's the beauty of books no two people will ever read the same book we'll always have different takes on it and different expectations depending on where we're reading from that's why the ratings are useful but I don't think I can use them anymore my decision to stop rating books on Goodreads comes from the feeling that well the rating system wasn't just wasn't working for me anymore and I don't think any rating system would work and that's why I'm here talking about books to you because books are so complex and so dynamic and there's so much to talk about that I don't think you can encompass everything in the star rating system. So I do like Goodreads most of the time. I just don't like the rating system, but I don't think that's a problem with Goodreads. That's just a problem with me and I don't think I can rate books anymore based on that star system. I think books are so much more than that. I do love logging my books on Goodreads. I do love saying, oh, I'm reading this currently. I want to read that. And I can, I have a better idea of how I'm doing with my reading, especially since I started my master's in English literature and now the PhD. I'm not just reading for pleasure anymore, I'm reading for work as well. So I think it's a good way of tracking both things. I don't tend to write reviews there very much and I think that's one of the reasons why when I stopped rating those books I started this YouTube channel. What is your relationship with Goodreads? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you just indifferent to it? Do you use it? If you use it, do add me on it because I do love seeing what other people are reading. I love editing things to my TBR list, the ever-growing TBR list. I hope you like this video. Greetings from Brazil. Bye. There's too many books in so little time.